anybody understand everything about the warm-up for this? Yes, Cody. Oh, okay. I thought you were just, I'm fine. Okay, everybody, when I say get in the water, we're going to get in the water, and we're going to have two minutes to warm up our arms. So when Reef steps out of the water, okay, now everybody can get in the water, wait for the whistle to be blown. You guys may begin on the arm stroke. Nice job, Brooke. Great job. You see that head placement? No, don't kick with this. We're just in the arms right now. <laughs> Great job. Beth is now going to demonstrate for us in the pool. 
both movements put together. So when she puts her goggles on, she started, she pushed back, gave herself some acceleration. As you can see, she's slicing the water with her arms. Her legs are slicing through the water as well in a forceful movement, giving her the momentum to get back to the wall. Her arms are close by her ears, pinky first into the water, making wide C shapes with her arms, scooping underneath, forcefully pushing the water away from her, which is gonna give her the momentum. Last week, we talked about Newton's laws. This week, we are talking about Newton's third law, which is every reaction has an equal or opposite reaction. So your body moving forward into the water is creating a forward <coughs> movement and you are pushing the water opposite from you to create momentum forward. You're applying force opposite the direction of the movement. So as Beth makes it back, we're noticing her C-shaped arms, pinky first, a very light splash, which is gonna finish her into the end zone and win first place at the competition that we are not playing. <laughs> Are there any questions? Remember, when you are doing the movement, you want your chin to be high. As we saw Smith's as she was going, her chin was high. She was coming close to her ears with her arms, batting it with her pinky, pushing the water away from her. Her feet had strong slices through the water, um, and her chin was nice and high, so she was being able to breathe and keep her ears in the water. Are there any questions? Great, let's get in the water. Now before we kick in, remember, like I'm tired. It's okay to take breaks, because you don't want to tire yourself out too much to where you're doing the movement wrong. So if you want to make the movement efficient, take a good 30 second break if you need to, and then go. Okay, you guys can start.
Yes, blue! Let's go, blue team. We're going to wait till our team comes in. Are there points, blue team? That's right, blue team. Yeah. Red team, she's going to go, Casey. Let's see it. All right, let's go, Casey. So notice how she's gliding gracefully through the water, but still keeping strong kicks. Like a beautiful swan. Like a beautiful swan. All right, the way back. So notice her arm moves are, are just gliding, slicing the water, but still forcefully pushing underneath her. Let's give her a hand. Five hundred points for Two hundred points. All right, continue on. some of the challenges that came along with doing the whole thing in its entirety. When to breathe. Breathing. When to breathe, okay. So how, many, you want how many people had um, issues with how to breathe when you were doing the freestyle? So okay. you guys want to remember, sorry, no, you guys remember how I do when I swim, I just think one with your arms, one, two, three, breathe. And when, when you want to breathe, you want to breathe towards your towards your shoulders. So you want chin and shoulder when you breathe. You don't want to have your, like when you swim, you don't want to pop your head out. So you breathe towards the side, deep breath, and down. So you want to follow, your chin should follow your arm. So when your arm goes out, you go by the chin to your shoulder and face down. So your head, your arm never goes up, so where your head should go up. It should just be one full movement. Is everyone what understand that? The, cool. What was the next thing that we went over? We learned a new stroke, which was? The backstroke. How many of you like the backstroke? Cody, you like the backstroke? What did you like about the backstroke? Uh, I like the constant where I was going. <laughs> okay, a little challenge by choice. I like it. Um, what are some of the things we need to remember when we are doing the backstroke? Pinky first. Pinky first into what? Into the water? Great. When we're coming out of the water, what, what do we want our hand to do? Thumb first up, turning in the air. Where do we want it? Do we want our arm out or do we want to close our ear? Right Great. Uh, who wants to tell me about the kicking with the backstroke? 
Emily, was that a hand raise right there that I saw? Can you tell me what a uh, what the kicking with the backstroke is? Okay, strong fluttering slices through the water. Okay. What were some of the um, things that us as teachers did well today, or things that we can improve on for next time? Luke, that has actually gotten the water at times and showed how to do certain strokes. Great. Casey, thank you for demonstrating today, along with Will, thank you for demonstrating. Next time, we are going to be going over another stroke, learning more about swimming. Right now, since we are able to use the pool facilities, we need to uh, clean up the mess that we've made, which is our uh, kickboards and our floaties. So if you would all grab those and bring them over here, that would be great. And that is going to conclude our class. Great Thank job, you. guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then stay in front of um, Coach Moore when you're done. Right? Thank you. Perfect. Yes.